These are some of the permalip implants. You can see they come in three different thicknesses. They also come in different lengths and we measure the patient's lips and adjust the length uh, accordingly. Uh, we make small incisions inside the corners of the mouth and we can insert these. And these can give you a nice natural looking augmentation that's permanent. Um, people like them. Um, they're very natural in terms of how they feel. Uh, and they work a lot better than some of the implants we had uh, in the past. Um, also, uh, using patient's fat is an option for lip augmentation. And basically we do a sort of a micro liposuction procedure harvest fat, process it down to what we call micro fat, which are smaller fat particles so that we're not injecting large clumps of fat cells. And we can uh, inject that in a smooth, even fashion um, to get a nice augmentation. Uh, we're going to overcorrect when we put fat in because some of the fat is not going to stay. The fat that stays for six months will stay long term. Um, whether we're doing fillers such as Juvederm or Restylane, uh, lip implants or fat injection, um, we're going to numb the area with uh, local anesthetic before we do that. Uh, I, in any of those events, it's going to be a similar type of numbing procedure. Uh, we're also using cannulas more for our injections now rather than needles, which helps to reduce uh, bruising and swelling uh, at the time of the procedure.